Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Continuing with our Unity lessons, you can see so far we have a character controller that can move around the level using the WSAD keys. But when I move my mouse around, nothing happens, and that's sort of annoying because unless we fix that, we won't have a real first-person uh. Controlled game. So let's try and fix that. So what we're gonna do is go into our script that we have attached to our main player. So click on player, edit this uh, play player control script, edit script, and here's the script that we've typed up previously. And the next thing we want is we want to add in. The input for the mouse. So so far we have the input for the keyboard. So let's add float mouse x and float mouse y. These are gonna retrieve the input from the mouse. So let's go mouse x equals input dot get axis, and that's gonna be our mouse x coordinate. Or mouse x value, and let's do the same for mouse y. And just to show you what these are, I'm going to log it to the screen. So debug dot log mouse x just to show you what it looks like. So if I save that and play the game, you can see.、Uh, firstly, you probably need to click in the game to focus on the game. When you move your mouse cursor left and right, see this number at the bottom will change. Okay, if you just move up and down, nothing happens. Okay, but if you move left and right, depends on how much you move, how fast you move. Okay, if you move left a lot, it'll go to make. If you move right a lot, it'll the number will get bigger and bigger. And if you move left a lot, the number will go smaller and smaller to the negatives. So that's basically what this number means: is the more you move to the left, the more negative it gets, and the more you move to the right, the more positive it gets. It's just the value is going to be stored or assigned to this variable, and then the same thing for mouse y. So how do we use these numbers? Well, firstly, let's talk about the camera. So we have a main camera that's attached to the player, and we want to move this. We want to rotate this camera according to our mouse. So what we do is we import this camera object into our level. So let's go public. Camera, and let's call it eyes, because they're the eyes on our player. Save it, and you'll see back in our level, we have something pop up here that should say eyes. Okay, and we want to drag a camera object into this space. So let's drag the main camera into this space, and now what we want to do. Is we want to go back and program what happens to the camera, what happens to the eyes, and we want our eyes to rotate. So let's put in eyes dot transform dot rotate. And how much do we want to rotate? We want to rotate the same amount as how much I have moved my mouse Y. And I'm just gonna put zero zero here because I'm only going to rotate in one single axis. And if you save that, refresh, play the game, you'll see that when you move your mouse up, the player looks down, and when you move your mouse down, the player looks up. 
So that's not really what we want. Um, another thing I want you to do before we go back to the script is to go to the game window and just drag it to the right so you can see both the level and the game. Okay, and that's going to help us. So going back to the script, um, I want to now add a negative sign in front of mouse Y. And you can see as soon as we do that, if you play the game again, and you move the mouse up and down, it'll move the camera up and down. Okay, which is quite useful. Um, I also want to add something here that can control how fast I'm moving up and down, just like the speed of the object that I'm moving around, the player object. So I want to go back and I'm going to add another float variable, a public one called sensitivity. And I'm just going to multiply the sensitivity by the mouse Y variable. And so if I give a number for the sensitivity, which is going to show up soon, so let's say the sensitivity is, uh, let's say, 5. And I play the game. Okay, that's going to make it move a bit quicker. Okay, more sensitive. But when you move it left and right, nothing happens because we haven't programmed it in there. Now, here is the important thing. Okay. It's okay for just the camera to move when I'm moving up and down because that's just looking up and looking down. I don't want to change my controller or my uh, player object. But if I'm walking around the level and I move my mouse left and right, I need to rotate I need to rotate my player object, okay? Because the whole body is going to move left and right because that's going to influence when I press the forward and back key which direction I'm going to move in. That's going to be influenced by the mouse. So what I want to do is I want to rotate my um, player object. So let's go transform dot rotate. Um, notice how I don't have eyes dot transform because I'm just transforming the object that this script is attached to so I don't need to insert the name of another object so I'm gonna transform dot rotate and I'm going to move um, I'm gonna tr rotate zero in the X direction I'm gonna rotate mouse X in the Y and I'm going to rotate 0 in the Z direction and just see what happens when I run that okay so if I play the game you should be able to see that when I'm rotating left and right okay the camera will move left and right okay but if you try to move the um, player, let's say you move left and you press W, it's not going to move in the same way as your camera. Okay, because it, you haven't programmed it to move facing where your camera is facing. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, so Another thing that you've probably realized is that when I'm moving my mouse around, it's get, it gets a bit annoying when the mouse goes outside of the level of my game screen. So to fix both things, I'm going to firstly fix the f first thing is I'm going to lock my cursor. So cursor.lock state. equals 
cursor lock mode dot locked and that's gonna lock my cursor so when I'm playing the game you'll see that the cursor disappears cursor disappears but if you want to see it just press the escape key and the cursor shows up okay the next thing I want to do is well my transform.rotate I want to multiply that by the sensitivity otherwise it's not going to rotate at the same speed as when I'm looking up and down okay the next thing I want to do is I want to integrate my rotation with how much I'm moving so I'm going to isolate this bit of the code cut it out okay put it in the line above it and I'm going to call this movement okay I'm going to store this variable I'm going to store this information inside a variable called movement and I need to clear, declare as a vector 3 because as you can see this is a vector 3 um, piece of information and then I can just type movement here so that when it moves it's going to move this amount now I'm going to multiply the movement by transform dot rotation okay this is very important because now I'm saying that however much I've rotated my uh, player object that's where the movement is going to apply to in that direction it's going to move so now if I save this and I go back to my game you will see that I can now look up down left right and I can now move in that direction so if I'm facing this way towards the cube and I press the forward button it'll move there and I'm facing this cube press the forward button it'll move face this cube so now it's perfectly um, it's doing the same thing in a 3d first-person shooter type game which is what we want okay well that concludes this tutorial thanks for watching guys see you next time